guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you just watched my mini snail mail challenge video, then you may be thinking you're watching it again because it is the exact same setting and I'm wearing the same things. I'm just filming it on the same day. So um, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there. So this video I'm making today is I'm just basically showing you what zines I got from the um, Xenomatic uh, event that I went to. Um, and the reason I found out about that event was through Furry Little Peach's channel. She created a little mini zine and then at the end of the video she said that it was for a event called Xenomatic and it was in Sydney and I was super excited because I was like I've never like met her in real life I've been watching her videos for such a long time and yeah I was just super excited I went straight after work it was on a Wednesday night started at 6 p.m. so it was really sweaty <laughs> so I didn't have any time to change but I walked up these stairs it was actually at the top of a pub so I found the pub, it was just this little doorway, I walked up the stairs and it was this white gallery, I'd never been inside before and all these little mini zines were hanging on the walls so you knew which one to pick when you went up to the vending machine. Um, so I lined up and it was this really cool red vending machine, I'll put photos on screen so you can see it as well. And once you got there, you only could have $1 coins. You'd put $3 in and then you'd spin the little knob and then you can choose which thing you wanted. And I got, I think I got about six of them. And behind me was Furry Little Peach. Um, so I turned around and she was standing there. I was like, can I have a photo? <laughs> and yeah, we had some photos together. So I'll show you guys the photos. Um, yeah, but I was just really excited to buy one of her little artworks. Um, I know that she she just makes the most incredible things. Go check out her channel if you haven't already. Um, she's got thousands, not thousands upon thousands of subscribers. I think she's up to 100,000 subscribers. And I've been following her since she was at 10,000. So she just grew massively in a year. Um, and yeah, I just basically wanted to show you the little haul I got from the cinematic event. So yeah, we'll flick right over to um, showing you the haul now. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so this is the first one we have and this is the envelope it came in. And all was holding it together was this little bit of washi at the top. Um, it's just a very simple paid postage Australian um, envelope. So very cute. Very cute idea. Alright, so this is what was inside. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, this is really different and cool. So it's not actually like a traditional zine. It's a bunch of papers. So the first one says Sydney's Yumcha little address here and then as you can see um, I think this is her photography I'm not 100% sure I don't know a lot about the artists but I thought this was very very cute the back is just plain and then at the top you can see Yumcha is about the trolley trolley come around that's Yumcha I thought that was really cute and I really like the photography again more beautiful photography making yum cha. And then the thing that I love about this is it comes with recipes. I was so excited. I'm going to have to make some of these. And then more photos. Again, nothing on the back. But I really love her photography. Or his photography. I'm not sure if it's a he or she. I didn't quite get the name. But I will put all the names to the artist um, in the description box below. So there's just adorable recipe cards. And photos. This was such a lovely idea. It's out of order, but it was in the right order when I first got it. So, three beautiful recipe cards with the photos matching. And then the little menu and quote at the top here. So I really, really like this one. I thought it was very different, unique. And yeah, I'm so glad I picked this one. Next is another one that I really like. It's a whole bunch of photography put together to make this little zine. Um, so I'll just flip through it for you. And I'll also have her link in the description box below. I love this so much. It's like going travelling, seeing all these beautiful images. It makes me want to travel so badly. Very, very beautiful. Love to know what camera she uses. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, this is definitely she. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, he, but... <laughs> Um, so there's her name at the bottom, so Louisa, 
her um, Instagram tag, or her Instagram, just her Instagram basically, <laughs> not her tag, but I really, really love this. This is very cute. So next, this one actually tells a little bit of a story. So what we've built. And it actually comes with a little poster at the back. Um, but it gets on my fingers. I don't know if you can see, but I'm not going to open it. Or I'll open it at the very end. So, very, very cute. I'll flip through it. And basically, it's about um, the architecture around Sydney. And it's the ones that are threatened, the ones that are... Um, protected and also the ones that um, I think have been destroyed. Yeah, it says it just there. And then that's it. That's what the zine's all about. So in use, in use. These ones are in use. This one being threatened. And this is the same image that's in, um, that is the poster here. As I mentioned, I'm not going to open it because it's got all this pink pink stuff coming off you can see it's already coming off the sides here it's like chalk um, and I don't want to get it on my white bed sheet <laughs> these ones say in use and protected and then threatened and destroyed Aww. in use threatened so it's just like a little bit of a a way of letting you know what buildings are around and just be mindful that um, yeah, there's buildings that are no longer existed that have should have been saved, and yeah, it's a little bit of like an activist um, little booklet that I really like. And as you can see here, you can see this is the the girl who's made it. She's actually got a YouTube channel. You should check her YouTube channel out. Um, she has a video where it's all about all the zines she's collected, and I watched it the other day. Um, yeah, I really like that one. So this one here is a little bit different. It's a little story zine. So it's got a little storyline throughout it with these beautiful um, illustrations. I'm not going to read it out to you, but I'll flip through it. And you can pause it if you really want to read it. I'm going a little bit fast, but this beautiful story about these two girls who are a couple. And they're just being worried. They're getting, like, they're worried about traveling overseas together. Um, and they're worried about what people would say about them. So it was really interesting. I didn't actually know what this one was going to be about when I first got it. So, yeah, and then on the front it says, are you best friends? And then on the back it says, yeah, that's one way to put it. So it's a bit funny as well. So, yeah, I thought that one was quite nice and different. This one is so adorable. I absolutely love this one so much. And on the front it says staycation. Sorry, it's, it's really hard for my camera to focus on things that are really small, so... I'm hoping it's going to focus. It's in this beautiful um, plastic. I'm just trying to see if I can get that focus best. And it's these adorable images. I just love it so much. I love tiny things and the photography is just absolutely beautiful. I think it's off Japan. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like Japan. Very, very cute. And finally, we have AM and PM by Fairy Little Peach. So I actually watched her make this on her channel. Um, she's got a video up, and I watch a lot of her videos. And she's the reason I actually found out about this little Xenomatic. So, AM to PM. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. This is the right way. <laughs> um, so it says, good morning. And then this is the middle of the day. And then it says good night. Very, very cute. I really wanted something for furry little peaches and it only cost $3. Oh, all of them cost $3, by the way, if you did, wanted to know. So I thought that was very cute. And then if you open it up like this, it says PM, AM. Um, oops, I did it the wrong way. How does this work? There we go. Very, very cute. I love them all. I'll grab them all back for you. Thank you so much for watching my little zine haul today. I hope you got a bit of creative inspiration. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.